Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menu Truded, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here, pickaxe in hand, we did a lot of mining last time, together with these here robes. But I'd say it's time to say goodbye to the vampire robes, and the scaled hands, and the glass feet. All of that is not quite matching. I think we can do better. It's time to make ourselves some really powerful ultimate flipping weapons. Chillrend can stay by the way, though actually I could probably do something better than Chillrend now. I could probably literally recreate Chillrend just more powerful. Ooh, that's worth thinking about too, actually. Yeah, I could basically just create a new more powerful version of Chillrend. Because that's 25 points of frost and paralyze for two seconds. Well, I can now do that. Ah, okay. Right, so Chillrend was 25 and 2. So, good night, sweet Chillrend. You served me well, but I can literally make a better version of you. Meanwhile, the Ebony Sword, yeah, that was uh, 88 and Burns Target for 30. So, good night, sweet Prince. You again served me incredibly well, and I love you and I will miss you, but it's time to move on. And the Ebony Dagger Burns Target for 33. Again, we can do better than that. Though actually, uh, no, we probably can't. Not for the time being anyway, because I don't actually have a, a new dagger to replace that. So the ebony dagger gets to stay for the time being. The pickaxe can probably go away too. <laughs> My paralyzing pickaxe. Marvellous. I like how it sort of glows green now. I could probably do with putting away the 10 bajillion bits of jewellery I'm carrying, because, yeah, that's that's not going to do very much right now. So, yeah, right now, the glass boots give me 43% more in one-handed, which is nice. So don't worry about them. Let's just get rid of the... Oh, bloody hell. Right, let's just put all these away, because we're going to struggle to find someone to sell these to. If we ever find someone with a large amount of money, just remember, I've got, like... 20,000, no, way over, more like probably 40,000 total worth of jewellery just sitting in my little bedside table here. Though I guess I may as well actually keep, yeah, a gold ruby necklace for 40% sneaking and a ring for 40% sneaking. If I ever need to sneak, and that's a real priority, those two might be worth slipping on, and they weigh like, you know, less than one between them, so screw it, we'll just keep that. Now back to the chest, other things we need to put away, yeah. The glass boots and the scale braces are both doing me 43% on the one-handed. And the vampire royal armor is doing me, yeah, magic regeneration 125. So that needs to go away. And that needs to go away. And these needs to go away. Although I appreciate now at this point I am just basically wandering around in my underwear with a mask. Which is a little bit on the weird side. And I would not blame Serana or Lydia for judging me right now. But let's talk about the new stuff, why don't we? In particular, here we are. So, one dragon bone mace. So, I know it looks weak. That's because I've taken off the stuff that gives me, like, the massive increases. But I know for a fact, for example, yeah, 47 with 30 points, whereas this is 51. It hasn't even been improved yet. So, uh, the dragon bone mace is going to be my new primary weapon. So, we take that. Now, as for creating the new chill rend, uh, I do happen to have, I was keeping on one side in case I needed to make a new primary weapon at one point, uh, the, hang on, an ebony mace. So that's, it's pretty heavy, to be honest. I'll take that. I might just check in case anyone's got an ebony sword, because for a paralyzing weapon, you want it to be a sword, because you want it to swing as fast as possible. Now, that vampire royal armor was light armor 44. Uh, I think I've probably been saving in my dresser some stuff I actually need. Yeah, so I've got some scaled armor 48 right here. Scaled armor's pretty cool. I've got some... Ooh, I've got some Daedric stuff as well. Right, I've got a Daedric helmet to give to whoever my next proper companion is. That's pretty damn badass. And yeah, I've got some scaled braces ready to go. And that's my old glass boots. Ah, I don't actually have any boots ready to go go at this point irritatingly. Okay, well, take the scaled armor, fine. Take the scaled braces that have nothing on them as well. That's these ones. I need to find some good quality light boots to wear, because I need to be all light. And then after that point, yeah, I need to actually get enchanting. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like an ebony sword somewhere. If there was like an ebony sword, that'd be great. And if anyone had just uh, some nice boots, some nice little just kind of... Maybe I put some in here. Hang on, let me just check the actual chest as well in case I've put some in the wrong place. Oh wait, hang on. No, I found the dragon scale gauntlets. That was the whole point. I was supposed to be using the dragon scale gauntlets. Yes, don't forget them. Right, good. I'm glad I remembered that. So take them. Hang on. Now drop the scale gauntlets back off again. 
No, no boots, unfortunately. Right. So, ideally, I need to find a good ebony sword and some boots. And I believe Yorland Greymay might have been selling both. Otherwise, well, it's daytime. I'll just check in with you as you happen to be right flipping here. Hello there, Adrienne. No, her stuff is trash. Luckily for her, actually. Yeah, Yorland Greymay doesn't sell to the general market. He just uh, seems to work for the companions. So, if he did sell to the general market, you'd be screwed. He's so much better than you. Oh, it's too early in the morning. He's not here yet. Hang on, hang on. Just wait. He'll show up to work at some point or other. Come on, Yorland. I need to... There you go. Popping into existence. Nice. I'm pretty sure I saw him having... I could have sworn you had an ebony weapon just the other flipping day. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Someone just reminded me by yelling at me. Yeah, I, I forgot to put clothes on. Hang on. Let me just put some clothes on here. But no, wait, wait. Let's, let's put clothes on in dramatic fashion so you can actually see them going on. That'll flipping do. Right. Lovely. So, what we've got to actually put on is, yeah, we're going to keep Morake on, but we have got Scaled Armor, currently unenchanted. That's nice, I like that. And then we've got Dragon Scale Gauntlets, those are nice as well. And then we have got ourselves, yeah, we've got no boots yet, we need to find some shoes. But I will say, I think the hood actually goes with this thing a lot flipping better which is nice. It actually kind of merges into the straps really nicely. So it actually fits quite well. And of course, inside he's selling a flipping ebony mace, but not the ebony sword I want. Lovely. Right, time for me to do just a very quick nip round Skyrim and all the various blacksmiths therein until I find what I'm looking for. Nope, ebony battle axe, bow and warhammer, no sword. Scaled boots though, good. I've got the scaled boots that I want. Only 176, too. Flippin' bargain. Uh, right, minor miscalculation on my side. Um, as it turns out, the Dawn Guard have come to hunt me down. Um, and I don't actually have my weapons ready yet. Um, and my armor isn't, like, improved or enchanted. So, I'm just gonna basically let Moira and Serana handle this for me in the middle of flipping Riften, where they've caught up with me. And, and hopefully that'll be fine. So, who, who are you exactly? Are you... Oh, hang on. Who's... Who the flip? Wait, who are you and why are you helping us? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who, who are you? This is Fastred. Oh, no, you just killed Fastred. Oh, no. Right, well, that's going to punch him in the face. It didn't work very well. Oh, flip. Right. Yeah, the armor wasn't quite ready. Right, let's try this again. This time it's... Oh, this guy was mysteriously a lot less tough than the other one. Right, and now, remember, I've still got my mace. And, yeah, everyone's on my side. Which is, which is nice, but I think people should probably be running for their lives, not, like, fighting. Right, just go. 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 Oh, bloody hell. These guys are apparently quite bloody tough. And also killing fast tread. Okay, what we should do is probably be, like, not here when they arrive. Let's step outside town, away from all the innocent civilians that will, like, die if we do this in town. Although, admittedly, I'm a little surprised I'm dying so easily to these guys. Either they're stupid, stupid high levels, or alternatively, I guess maybe this armor is... Wait, what benefit was I gaining from my... This should already be, like, as good, pretty much, as my old armor. Like, the armor rating for the main piece is better, and that's what most of the armor... That's just weird. Right, I think they've caught up to us at this point, so just leave it to Moira and to Serana... Right, we've got a Dawn Guard right over here. Let's just finish you off here. And we've got... Wait a second. I've actually not got an enchantment on this thing yet. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. Right, Sukatoon or whatever. Oh, yes. Oh, super fast, super ridiculously fast, badass bit of swinging of axing going on here. Loving it. Right, one more member of the Dawn Guard to... Go and just hop over here. I think Serana's already on him. Lovely. Prepare for any of this. Oh, I think he's already screwed. He's already screwed. Down he goes. Screw you, Dawn Guard. But yeah, right now my weapons are super weak because I've got none of the enchantments for plus one-handed. But I'm not quite sure yet why I'm taking quite so much damage versus normal, but never mind. Right, back into Riften. No one's dead. That's probably fast tread right there. Don't worry, you're alive this time. Uh, you can just hang out with... That's the girl I got together with. What's-his-face, I think, anyway. Right, now let's wait until the actual blacksmith's here. 
Also, I'm now a blood-starved vampire. Uh, probably should sort that out nice and quickly. Hang on, who's going to be I'm nice sure and on their the own? Ah, the bunkhouse. Normally someone's on their own in here. Right, can I get away with this if you're facing the other way? Oh, what did you just do? Oh, nothing. No nothing at all. Right, now you just keep facing away. Right, I'm just going to quickly bite her a bit. No one objects. I think no one objects. Good. There we go. Riften has not let me down. One ebony sword. Nice. So, buy that and sell him my ebony mace in return. Oh, and apparently this guy was a flipping expert level smithing guy the whole time. I thought I needed to complete his quest uh, to get the fire salts from him before he'd do that, but no. Apparently I could have just asked him for smithing and not bothered joining the companions. Never mind, now I'm part of the companions. So... I need one ebony in order to get the sword a bit better. I might be able to further improve the dagger, but barely at all, so that's fine. I know it looks like I can't, but that's because I haven't taken a blacksmithing potion. Now that I'm up to 64 and I can take a potion, I might be able to get that a little bit better. I'm not sure what the threshold for getting above superior is. Maybe I'm capped to superior, I'm not sure. Uh, bare minimum, I can get this up to 69. So I need one dragon bone and one ebony ingot. I've already got the ebony ingot, so that's just the dragon bone then. So hang on, back over here as well to the workbench. And then I need, yeah, one dragon bone, one dragon scales, one refined moonstone I've already got. And I already picked up the corundum that I need for both of these. And they can be got up to superior as well, fine. So all I need to do now is go back to White Run, pick up one dragon bone, one dragon scales, and I'm ready to start improving this armor. Here we go. One dragon bone and one dragon scales. Got plenty of them. Nice. And now it's time to start making this happen. It's a grim night, raining, miserable and dark. But I'm a vampire, so I probably consider this good flipping weather. Right, over we go. Now, before we begin, Blacksmith's Draft. Weapons and armor improving is 30% better for 30 seconds. So, time to get in here. Drink that and hope that makes a difference. It might not, but screw it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I may as well use this now. So, Blacksmith's Draft. Next up, right, probably first things first, get on with the weapon improving. That's the important bit. So that can now be got up to exquisite. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, so let's get that up. Ah, oh, if only I had an extra, I could have actually got the that significantly improved if I had the extra ebony. But that's fine. 30 seconds, let's get this done. Those are up to exquisite. This can be got up to exquisite. This can be got up to exquisite. And this can be got up to exquisite. Nice. That is a big, big set of improvements. And yeah, as it turns out, I could have made my uh, knife a little bit better for the stabbing. But that's fine. Next time I run into an ebony dagger or basically any dagger. I mean, I'm going to need to create a new one anyway. So it doesn't really matter. That's fine. Right. Okay. Time to move flipping onwards then. That is all of that now looking much improved at this point. Yeah, armor rating right now, 121. I mean, okay, not spectacular, but it's much better than it used to be. And don't forget to actually put the gold amulet back on. I do like that thing. In fact, actually, now that I'm wearing all of this, and this is all light armor, I was also saying, so 121 right now, I think I've got a, I've got a perk in hand. And that perk, I'd say, could very much easily be spent on... Hmm. 25% armor bonus if all matching. I could do that, or I could do... I can't deny I'm tempted to basically just take the enchanting tree and wrap this up. Because I think I'd rather have... Right, let's not make a decision. Storm enchanter's certainly an option. I like storm enchanting. You two are just standing... Back to back for some reason. Okay, fine, whatever. Right, up to the actual Dragon's Reach Palace thing. I've got to have a little look see what we've got going on there. Because now I've got two enchantments to make per item. I need to figure out what I'm going to put on everything. Because I've now got, yeah, I've got the two weapons. And I've also got three bits of armor. The gauntlets, the legs, and the chest. Assuming I'm going to keep using Morakai on the face. And also, bear in mind, I've also got an Enchanter's Potion in my pockets too, so I can make everything more powerful than it looks. But, let's start planning this here. So, item. The Dragon Bone Mace. Now, obviously, what we really kind of want here is almost certainly the fire damage, and also, as well as that, and we probably want to, like, max that out as far as possible, 
we also want the frost damage. So, yeah, I can have burns targets for 31 and targets on fire take extra damage. And target takes 31 points of frost damage to health and stamina. Okay, that's all. That's way, way, way less, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's that's way less. Uh, what about shock damage? Ah, it's just because I've got the two charges that it needs to be recharged all the time. Got it, right. Okay. And also I can do, yeah, 25 points of shock. That will go up to 31 if I take the perk. And then to Magicka. But I kind of feel like I'd rather have actually the, the Frost. Because then I can have, yeah, I can take the stamina. Because more characters use stamina for power attacks. And also, presumably, does the frost cause slow? I can't remember whether frost on weapons causes slow or not. But still, that's to 98 charges already. And I'll be able to get it more powerful than that yet. So, and bear in mind, yeah, once I've actually taken, like, one-handed on all my armor, my armor will be giving me stupid amounts of one-handed boosting. So, you know what? I'm just going to create the Mace of Ice and Fire, because that seems awesome. But not yet, because I haven't taken the potion yet. So, that's fine. So, uh, don't quit enchanting, just stop enchanting that. So, that's the Dragon Mace, okay? Next up, the Sword. Now, the Sword, we know what we want to do there. We want to get the Paralyze on that, and... Okay, that just offered me five and it was off the chart there. The thing is, I don't really need it to paralyze for five seconds, because the thing about paralyzing is they fall over, then there's an animation for them to get back up. So, it's fine for me to actually spend a little bit less on it. Like, paralyzing for two seconds is fine. Because the slowness as they get back up again. So, okay. So, we'd want to take that. That's okay. What else could we put on this sword? Absorb isn't great, to be honest. Though, actually, if this is the one I'm using against a single one-off tough enemy, bear in mind there might be, rather than just doing straight damage... I might prefer to do something else, but actually there's not much else that can be that can be done that's that useful. Does 37 points of stamina damage? No. That's not what I want. I might just take I might just take frost damage on that actually. Frost damage just to slow them down a little bit, take away their stamina. That's probably the best way of destroying them. Or I could just absorb some health and absorb 20 points of health. Do I want to do damage or Okay, if I'm going one-on-one -on -one against a really dangerous opponent, health absorb probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I'm going to go for... Ah, but then Chilren never had that. I'm trying to recreate Chilren. But I'm already creating a better Chilren, because this is ebony rather than glass. And I can make it better than it was, because this is now an exquisite ebony sword. Yeah, I'm going to go for a paralyzing, health-absorbing variant of Chilren. That strikes me as pretty bloody good. But then uh, the damage would be low. But then the damage is supposed to be lower on chill rent. It's not my day-to-day -day weapon. No, you know what? I'm going to recreate chill rent. I'm literally going to recreate chill rent. I'm just going to create, like, ultimate chill rent. And just go for even more frost damage and paralyzing, but more base damage. Yeah, that's fine. So that's what we'll do for that. Wait, don't come out of the enchanting. We're not done enchanting yet. Now, this is where things get a little bit more on the... The interesting side. What are we going to do with the armor? Because I've never really even considered what we can do with armor when that's actually like that. Like, what can I put on? Because can I double up fortify and fortify? Ooh. Okay. So, hmm. The interesting thing is that's actually not... That's not giving me that much benefit, is it? Actually, that's giving me weirdly little benefit. Like, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to... If I, like, slap a, slap a black soul gem on that, that's... Oh, wow, okay. I was hoping, like, I'd be able to recreate the royal armor. But, actually, that's nowhere near as good. That's nowhere near as good at all. Okay, if I just slap that off and just go for fortify regen... Magicka regenerates 62% faster. Okay, now, if I take the potion to make that better, that's probably going to get me to Conjuration down to like, I don't know, 20% less to cast. And the Magicka might stack up a little bit more. So, yeah, probably what I want to take, therefore, on this thing would be, unless there's anything, oh, I wouldn't mind Fortify Health, to be honest. I'd love to have some Fortify Health, because this is the only thing you're allowed to have 
fortify health on. You can't have fortify health on your, your hands or anything. I think that has to be on the main armor only. If I was to take fortify health and fortify magicka regen, increase health by 62 and magicka regenerates by 62 and I haven't taken the potion yet so it will be greater than that. I think I'm willing to take a tiny hit to my magicka regeneration, bearing in mind that the the fortify conjuration addition is only going to make like maybe 15% more on and I'm already getting an extra like 100 off the mask which I'm keeping plus I could put some extra magicka regen on my hands or feet so okay fine I need to start I should probably write this down hang on so on the armor yeah health and magicka regen there we go. I'm starting to write this down because when we take the potion, I've only got like 30 seconds before it wears off. So I've kind of got to get it right first time. Uh, is there anything else I can have on that? Like, I'd like the health. I would like the health. And yeah, double taking the Fortify Illusion and Magicka Regen is not going to do me that much benefit, I don't think. So, I mean, like, if need be, if I regret my decision, I can just come back and I can do this again. I can make some new armor. That's fine. If I ever run across some, like, some dragon stuff, then I will do that anyway. So that's fine. So that's going to be that. Uh, move on to the gauntlets. Ah, I can't have Fortify Magicka Regen on the gauntlets. Right, what can I have? Because there's limitations on the, uh, the arm of the leg pieces. You don't actually get that much on them. So I get the one-handed. That's at 40% right now, and I can make that better. And actually, there's not a huge amount more that I want. I can fortify Magicka. Okay, I kind of may as well do that, to be honest. I mean, literally none of the rest of this is, is worth it. Yeah, okay. I mean, fortify Sneak is kind of weird on the hands, to be honest. But yeah, fortify Magicka and fortify one-handed. And finally, the boots that I think come with their own set of stuff too. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, fortify one-handed again. Now, right now I'm getting 43 on that. But, yeah, this time I don't even get flipping Magicka. I get stamina. Oh, well, the second here is a bit of a waste. I could give myself a ton of stamina, but that doesn't do much. I could resist shock, but weirdly not resist... Maybe I just haven't bothered learning the other, like resisting fire. I'm not sure I've even broken anything down. Uh, no. Right. I could just fortify and carry. Fortify and carry wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But then that's just... It doesn't actually give me any advantage in a fight. Fortify one-handed. And fortifying sneak doesn't really strike me as worth doing. Because I've got the muffle anyway. So, if I broke down... If I broke down the muffle boots... Could I add muffle onto these permanently? Ooh, that's worth having a think about. If I break down the Nightingale stuff, can I learn some extra new enchantments here? Okay, that might be worth having a think about. Yes. Here we go. Muffle boots. Let's just quickly grab these, see if I can break them down and put them on my scaled boots together with the one-handed. Also, nipping back home just reminded me that, like, you know, rings are a thing as well. So I should probably craft a new ring while I'm crafting because, uh, yeah, right now I'm increasing my magic of 39 points. I can do better than that. In fact, I might be able to do better than the Gold Amulet. That's 30, 30, and 30. I might be able to do better than 30, 30, and 30. So, Silver Ruby Ring. Honestly, I prefer the colouring of the Actually, I've always liked the... I've always liked the Garnet, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Silver Garnet Ring. It's not as valuable, but I like it better. I could go for... Ooh, I've also got a Silver Sapphire Necklace over here. That could be a new necklace to replace that. Ooh. Okay, Ruby or... Garnet, Ruby or Actually, I can't resist that. I like the red. It's kind of vampire red. I'm going to go for the ruby ring. I'm actually just going to buy iron ore off this woman and then convert it into silver in front of her. Just because, you know, that's pretty bloody rude. There we are. Lovely. I've converted it into something much more fine. In fact, actually, I could buy iron ore, convert it to silver in front of her, turn it into a silver ingot, then sell it back to her to profit. That'd be hilarious. But I don't need to do that because I actually need to, you know, flipping have the silver today. And one silver sapphire necklace to potentially replace Golda if I can come up with something good enough. Marvellous. Ah, tragically, it's not showing up. Boo, I cannot break down those uh, shoes to actually add muffle as well as one-handed onto my new shoes. That is just a unique enchantment I cannot learn. So you know what? I guess I'll just give myself... No, not stamina regen. One-handed and fortify stamina. A bit of extra stamina for running wouldn't hurt. Now, the ring, we might be able to do something a bit more interesting with. Because, yeah, you get a lot of options with rings. 
yeah, I could offset some of the low magic regen off my armor by giving myself magic regen over here. That'd certainly be... Ooh, but I could put one-handed on this... Ooh, one-handed on this thing too. Okay. One-handed and magicka. So way more magicka. And also, yeah, okay, so I'll have like an extra 40% or probably way more than that actually. More like 50%. On top of anything I've ever had before, as well as the more powerful weapon. Ooh, that is tempting, yes. Yeah, that's pretty good. And finally, the necklace. So I'm trying to replace 30, 30, and 30. Now I can get... Okay, well, I can... Wow. Okay, that wasn't actually hard, was it? No. Because necklaces are allowed to have uh, fortify health on them. As well as fortify magicka. So I can give myself another 62 points. Well, way more than that, because I haven't taken the potion yet. Now, okay, but would I rather have Fortify... Oh, no, you can't have Regen on that. So I can have Magicka on this thing. Yeah, Health and Magicka on the Necklace. And then I can put some extra Magicka Regen on the... On the Ring instead. I could have One-Handed and Magic Regen on the Ring. Yeah, that's probably the better idea, because then my magic regen will be as high as it's been so far. Right, okay, that's that's the plan. Alright, just scribble this down here. So the necklace is going to have health and magic. Okay, that's that's fine. So the ring can have uh, the one-handed and magic regen. Alright, this is... Okay, that's, that's the final loadout. Seven things need to be done. Just make absolutely sure I've got enough flipping... Oh, yeah. I've got 14 Black Soul Gems with Grand Soul in them, and also the Black Star. So, we're 100% fine here. Okay. Now, prepare, because, yeah, this is this is going to be on a time limit. <laughs> so, I need to do this all in one flipping go. So, let's prepare for this. I'm going to drop a save in case you get it wrong. Here we are. I've got two Enchanter's Filters and one Enchanter's Elixir. So, items enchanted are 25% stronger for 60 seconds now ah wait hang on before i take this actually though there's one more thing i do need to actually settle which is how much am i willing to take in terms of my my weapon and its swing speed because this thing okay the dragon bone mace assuming i am indeed going to go for frost i could go for if i just ease this down like this is going to be higher than what we're seeing right now anyway and then i toss the frost on and I put that down to 24. 130 charges doesn't feel like that much. But then equally, it barely makes any difference at this point, does it? Like, the difference between 110 and 181 is... Well, 110 and 181, pretty much. But, like, this is the minimum I consider. And at that point, we're only talking 60 differences. And I've got the rechargeable black star. So, at that point, I kind of may as well just max this out to... 100, and then it's, yeah, it's a difference between 110 and 100. So, uh, but then I need to get out a bound sword all the time. That's going to annoy me. Screw it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just need to keep an eye on it and just keep it topped up with the black star. We'll keep it topped up. Let's just max that actually out, okay? That's fine. And for the ebony sword that's going to replace chill rent, yeah, we'll go for two seconds and maxed out frost damage. Though I could take a little bit less frost damage. If I take two there... What do I get for just a tiny bit less? I get down to... Again, that makes almost no difference whatsoever. And we don't use this that often. Yeah, the difference is negligible. Let's just max it out, quite frankly, because we don't use it that often. Right, okay. We're ready. We're ready to do this now. All right, three, two, one. Oh, it's 60 seconds. Okay, that's not so bad. 60 seconds. I thought it was only 30. Three, two, one, go. Okay, go, 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 go. This is now working. All right, so... Item number one, Dragon Bone Mace. Enchantment needs to uh, be fire damage, maxed out to 39. Frost damage, maxed out to 39. Uh, yep, yeah, use the soul gem, doesn't matter. Flipping enchant it, go. Uh, next up is going to be the Ebony Sword that's replacing Chill Rent. So that is going to be frost damage, max that out. Paralyze, get that down to two seconds. Uh, that's fine, go over to a Black Soul Gem. Go. Next up, we have got ourselves armor. Uh, yeah, the scaled armor itself. The armor wants health and magicka regen, we agreed. So, uh, fortify health and, uh, magic regen. 78% faster. That's nice. Soul gem. 
go. Next up, we have got ourselves the hands, uh, the Dragon Bone Gauntlet. That is supposed to have one-handed and magic on it. Fortify Magicka, fortify one-handed, 50% more damage there. Get on the Black Soul Gem, go. Uh, next up, we have got ourselves the feet, scaled boots. They are supposed to have the stamina and one-handed. Uh, fortify stamina, fortify one-handed. Oh, yes, that's... Oh, I think it's one off. I think it may have worn off already, unfortunately, because that's... That's 40%. Right, well, that was that was a fast flipping minute, wasn't it? Okay, uh, that's totally now only, yeah, that's only 40%, which is exactly what I was getting before. Okay, that's fine. I've got more flipping potions yet. That's okay. Quit the enchanting, go over to a new potion. Enchanter's filter, this is only 5% less, so that's 100% fine. That was a really fast 60 seconds. That did not feel like 60 seconds at all. So go and go and get in there. So yeah, we are starting off with the feet. And yeah, that is now the stamina and one-handed down to the flipping bottom. Uh, stamina and one-handed. Yep, I'm definitely getting more there. Uh, no, go. Flipping black soul gem. Yes. Right, next up we have got ourselves uh, the ring. The ring is supposed to have magic regen and one-handed. So magic regen, one-handed. Uh, next up, select that. And magic regen is 70% faster. Nice. And final item, we have got the necklace. And the necklace is supposed to have health and magic on it. So uh, fortify health. Fortify Magicka, 75 a flipping piece. Boom. Whew. Job done. Not quite as powerful as it could have been because I only had one of the ones that was 25% more powerful. And if I had a better one, my vampiric powers are growing as I'm hungering. Well, that's just flipping fine. Right. So. So, 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 so. Sorry, by the way, this has been a bit of a quiet episode so far. It's been very technical, but uh, this sort of stuff excites me, damn it. So, at this point, I've got... 127. 127 base damage with 39 points of fire and 39 points of frost damage. Oh, be still my beating heart. Uh, right, the dagger needs to be improved yet. Yeah. The ebony sword is, yeah, the new chill rend. This is the new chill rend is now ebony sword exquisite. 39 points of frost and also paralyzed for two seconds. I've also just got an iron arrow for some reason. And all of this is just, oh, this is just beautiful. This is just so flipping beautiful. Wait, hang on. I haven't even put on the ring yet. I haven't put on the ring or this. All right, let's just quickly just, you know, slap this on. Yeah, I think the gold amulet just got flipping retired. <laughs> I think that just got very retired. So that's now Magicka 75% faster. These are just, oh my goodness, this. This is incredible at this point. This is just flipping amazing. Okay, and then Morake. I wanted to keep Morake because Morake gives me the magic 100%, which is good, and shout reduced by 20%, which is unique. I can't get that elsewhere. So that's really, really damn good. And then I'm just keeping some other stuff just in case I ever need it. Though actually, I can probably get rid of that at this point. Um, But, oh my goodness. Okay, hang on, hang on. How much health do I have now? And Magicka. 623 Magicka, 433 health. 175 stamina. Oh my. Oh flipping my. Oh flipping my. Oh, you know what? I think I can do a bit better. Hang the flip on here. I've just got a spare perk in hand right now. Light armor. I can increase that by 20%, but 25% bonus for head, chest, hands, and feet. I am presumably doing that right now. So let's just quickly slap that on there. And very soon I'll be able to actually get that down to weighing nothing. And stamina regeneration. Is that even worth having? Like, the death movement's kind of nice. I'm not going to have a matching set. So, uh, stamina regen's not great. And light up, I mean, that's a nice to have just for extra bits and pieces. But I can also have that just going up 20% a turn. So, that gets my armor up to, hang on, my armor rating 150 at this point. 100 and flipping 50. The scaled armor at 70. Oh, oh, this. This is all good. This is all very, very good. Yes. Right. Time to drop off some of the last bits of old armor and then be on our way to show off the new stuff. Oh, I can run so much further now. I've like doubled the amount of stamina just for flipping fun. Because I had nothing better to shove on my boots. Lovely. And now just to find someone on their own. Arcadia will do the job. 
Let me know if you see anything you like. Let me know if you see anything you like. Well, to be honest, your neck will do the job very nicely. So just quickly feed on you. Lovely. So I'm fed. She's been vampire seduced, so she doesn't care. Time to be on our way. Weirdly, if your vampire seduce a shopkeeper, they're perfectly willing to basically let you, you know, feast on their necks as much as you want. Uh, but they won't actually give you any beneficial pricing. Which is odd when you think about it. Right. Time to show off my new... Oh, ho, ho, my new stuff that is beautiful. For I am now flipping mighty. So, three destinations. First up, yeah, if I start at Peak Shades Tower, which I've already visited, looks like it should be really close by to there as a starting point. So let's start there, see if I can find a way up the mountain. And if need be, yeah, head round to Helgard and just kind of loop round up here, which feels like a more logical way round if I can't find an obvious way up. But quite frankly, I feel sorry for the first person who decides to cause trouble with me. Right, I can see the glade up there. Uh, but this is... This is way too steep even to Skyrim your way up. So how are we going to get up here then? Well, it looks like there should be a way up, just slightly over to the right of where I'm currently standing. Unless I need to go down from above, but I don't see an obvious way up just from the map. Uh, okay. Who's there? If I head over to... Oh, is that a... Oh, you've decided to show up with a dragon. Oh, an ancient dragon? Oh, good luck. Why don't we just give this a go? Hang on, ancient dragon, ancient dragon. No, don't let it take off. Don't let it take off. Oh, you bastard. Right. You are so screwed. You are so hilariously screwed. Right, down he comes, down he comes. Someone distract him for me. Well, I just get over here. Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's not going so well for you. Being simultaneously flipping, actually frozen and burnt. Oh, ho, ho. oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is just ancient dragon. And we just took out like a third of its health in a single landing round. Oh my goodness, we're absolutely destroying this thing. This thing's being... Torn the hell apart. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, wait, he's, he's, got a, he's got a tail slam. Don't forget about the tail slam. Right, because I'm also being torn apart. No, screw you. Oh, my goodness. I pretty much just... I could have done that by myself. You are now surplus to requirements. Right. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad about my new powers. I'm very glad about new powers. Admittedly, I've just, like, torn through, like a third or more of the charge in this thing. But thanks to the Black Star, I just keep it topped up forever. Nice. Now, over to the right. And as I was saying, oh, it doesn't look great, but I might be able to hop my way up here to get close by to this here glade. This looks, yeah, like by normal human logic, like, you know, snow and ice of this incline, no chance. But by Skyrim logic, this is fine. This is just a leisurely stroll. Ah, but I've run into some invisible walls on the far end. But if I just kind of clamber my way around the outside of these here rocks, I should be able to... Okay, now I can get up onto here. This is... Aha! I think I've... Oh, come on. Come on, I've almost got it. I've... Unless you're going to completely invisible wall me in right now. I've just about got this. That we... Come on, hammer that. There we go. Right, job done. Uh, so... I've totally cheated my way up to where I'm supposed to be. Now there's a... It's one more flipping stage up, isn't it? Right, hang on. There might be a path here. Right, there possibly was a different path. I just didn't really know where it began. Hopefully, Serana will be able to find it. Right, loop round we go. And yeah, we're definitely almost at the glade here. I see the paths and whatever. Uh, yeah, incredibly close, in fact. So... What do... Oh, jump, jump. Continue jumping. Apparently, I'm still on the just jump to make it section. Here we go, I've joined another path. I feel like I left the path accidentally there, I'm not really sure how. Right, Ancestor Glade. Problem is, while this is the right place, I've got no flipping knife. And also there's... Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead, fine. Ice Wolf dead. Uh, Serana, who bloody knows where she is. Um, nice, convenient... Ooh. Novice chest. Okay, leave it to whoever's in here. There might well be another moth priest in here, presumably. Right. Now, who's in here and um, what do they want from me, if anything? Hello? Well, actually, whatever it is, it's quite close by. Hmm. Um, impressive, is it? It's the Ancestor's Glade, all right? It's impressive. Right, Aura Whisper. And I don't see 
anything alive. Interesting. Nothing alive at all. Uh, just loads of flipping hanging moss. Right, let's just get a torch out here so we can actually see what's going on. Looks like, ah, yeah, possibly I want to go up and around here. Right. Up and around and over here-ish. And we can get a bit deeper in, right. Now, question is, yeah, what exactly is in here? And be careful, by the way. Oh, okay. Yes. Got to be something in here. Or maybe there's just a bunch of moths. Oh, now she's impressed. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Right. It is quite nice. I won't deny. That's that's fairly true. Right, just hop down here. Although, I'm going to guess a whole bunch of Spriggans are going to pop up at some point. Because this feels like the sort of place they do just pop up. And ten bajillion ancestor moths. And one. Ah! A draw knife. Right. Got one of them. And now I've got to just gather some bark. Okay, this was much easier than I expected. I was expecting the god king of the Spriggans to show up. He probably will. He probably will afterwards. But screw it. Let's just very gently draw some canticle bark. And hope like the moths show me the future or the past or... Something. I'm slightly unclear on this whole process. So just get some bark. Hope the moth like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. And now I need to go and attract. Look at them. Attract some swarms. Ah, I need to literally go and find the swarm. So, okay. Now I just need to. I'm literally hunting for moths. Right. Well, this is this is intriguing. Right. Okay. Um. No more around here. Oh, wait, hang on. Catch. Do I need to literally catch these things? Is that what I need to... Yeah, catch Ancestor Moth. Oh! I just tore one of their wings off. Um, I'm guessing you didn't want me to do that. What do these things do, by the way? Also, what do they taste like? I'm not taking this as serious as I should do. Ancestor Moth wings. Mmm, tastes of future. I mean, logically, they're moths. So if I just, like, hold up a torch... They'll actually, like, come to me, right? I mean, that makes sense. Right, let's just go through here. Got to find some clusters. So this is cluster number two. Fine. Um, Maybe if I just keep following this path, logically I'll just find more of them. So that's got to be cluster number three. Yep, there's cluster number three. Is there any more back in this direction? There might be some more around the back here. Just keep looping around just in case. No, I think it's fine. But they're getting harder to see because now the existing moths are getting in the flipping way. Right, on this direction. Over to... Oh, no, this is a dead end. Is it? Oh, no, hang on. No, no, there might be more around here. Right, okay. Go around this way. That's... There's four. Loop around the top here. Good, I'm on the right path. Because I'm definitely picking up more. And I definitely see more ahead too. So, there's five... Right, there's number five. Um, I can... Ah, okay, there's a path up that way. Just check there's nothing more down in this direction. Yep, there totally was. Right, there's six. And then there's... Ah, hang on. There's seven over there. This'll do. Right, I've got seven ancestor moths. Right, now I need to enter the column of light and read the Elder Scroll blood. Right, and now everything's kind of rainbowy. Okay, everything's all of a sudden really, really fabulous. Everything's just fabulous. Uh, okay, so don't need any more of that stuff. So let's just get down here into the Column of Light and read ourselves an Elder Scroll, which potentially makes you go blind. So you probably shouldn't read Elder Scrolls too much. And in we go. Yeah? Can we do oh, no, I need to stand here. Do I now need to actually literally like, get the Elder Scroll out? Oh, I'm carrying several. Which one is it? Right, it said read the Elder Scroll Blood, but I've also got the Elder Scroll Dragon here. Can I read that right now? There we are, just open that up and ooh. Well, that's me blind forever. Well, that's fun. It did actually just let me read that. Um, I'm not sure it did anything, but all right. Now back to this. I've still presumably got that. Yeah, now read the other one, the Sun one. Let's just read all of them. Screw it. I like the fact the game actually gives you that option. So, that, that's the sum. So, I really shouldn't be just reading Elder Scrolls too much. I know for a fact it's supposed to make you go blind. But turns out Dexium was just a wuss. Because now I'm going to read three in a row. And I'm going to be 100% fine from it. 
Uh, and finally, the one I'm actually supposed to bloody read. Uh, blood, appropriately enough. Open it up. And, ah, that's the one. It's gone wibble, wibble, wibble in the air. And it's... Yep. A thing. And that's a... Uh, land with a bit hanging off the back of it. And that's... Now it's... Um... Of no bloody clue. Is it a map? Is it a map? Am I looking at a map? It's, it's a map that's... Yeah, there's little mountain ranges on it. And I'm guessing that's a point of center that you find the thing that, like, does a thing? Did... Did that make sense to anyone else? Because if that was supposed to make sense to me, that could be a problem. Hello, Serana. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. And I'm pretty sure I'm fine, but that did feel a little bit weird. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Well, I think I saw, like... Wait, how did I know that? I saw, like, three wibbly things and a bit... Oh, maybe, like, my character knows it, even if I don't know. Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall cave? And the scrolls gave me an exact location, apparently. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Okay. Unseen visions complete. Wait, hang on. Wasn't there supposed to be a... Don't I need a third one? There was talk of three scrolls to understand what was going on. And one of them was in the bottom of a Duomo ruin. And we haven't got that one yet. What happened to... Alright, fine. Never mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's around. Wait, who's around? What is it? Who's attacking us? Right, I'm going to need something uh, to help out with this, potentially. I'm not necessarily familiar with all my new abilities yet. Is that... Oh, I think it's werewolves. I think it's a lot of werewolves, isn't it? Did I just see a wolf over there? I'm kind of familiar with one of them. Because we've got ourselves... Yeah, that looks like werewolves to me. Dawn guard over there. Yep, that's definitely a werewolf. How are we doing first to shoot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're good, actually. Uh, as it turns out, yeah, they're bringing the... Oh, no, sorry, it was a frost troll. Sorry, my mistake. Right, screw you. Screw you. Oh, yeah, you guys used to be a threat. Sorry, it was just the armored troll they brought. Oh, have you brought back the... No, you brought back the dawn guard. Well, that's fine. Let's go get ourselves some stuff here. Uh, right, who have we got here? You are over there. Dawn guard. Very... Oh, this new weapon. This new weapon is incredible. Uh, and I can just help myself to an old energy block. Nothing of any value, to be honest. Uh, now, what else is that? Oh, there's still someone here who's going for me. Oh, I think I can take that now. Thank you very much. Don't kill him just yet, mind. I need to get on my bound sword because... Let's just quickly... Yeah, I need to kind of regularly be topping this thing up. But that's fine. Because black star, And then you out. And then you... You, you, and that tops it up. Lovely. That's your punishment for trying to oppose me. I steal your sword and use it to power my infernal weapons. Right, we've got another one over there yet. And our kind of, you know, various conjurations are going after that. So, hang on, where are you? Where are you? Wait, where are you? It's over there somewhere. Ah, just hiding behind a tree. Hiding behind a tree. It's all right. Right, there you are over there, Dawn Guard. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is good. This is a good weapon, damn it. Also, there's just a potion of ultimate magic there for some reason. That's bloody useful. And I'll take the draft of the healer as well, because why not? Right, I think we're done. Lovely, let's get out of here. Right, out we come. No more sign of trouble for now, though. Everything's okay for the minute, lovely. Ah! And a path further up into the mountains. Well, that's just bloody convenient, because further south and up, that's the direction I need to go into. Yeah, if that path slowly leads round towards the east, then destroying the vampire Vighar and taking the bloodlet throne for myself, well, that just sounds flipping perfect, doesn't it? Yes. So, come on, path. Take me further up. Oh, it does. Excellent. I've actually found a flipping path that leads me up into the mountains. Well, that's just marvellous. Right, so just loop up here, and eventually we'll get up top. And yep, fine, it's now actually showing up on my compass, which is beautiful, though the path is... Okay, good, it is bending round to the left there. This whole area looks actually pretty nice and 
It's pretty quiet around here, to be honest. Weirdly quiet, I would have expected. And also, there's there's just a house up here. That path totally leads over to the Bloodlet Throne. Hang on, I just want to check out what this actual house is. It's... Okay, if I go over to that, I'm going to lose my place on the path, aren't I? There's a... Actually, there's a, there's a thing that... Oh, hang on. Hang on. If I can get round to, to here, I can get round to... If there's a path down. Is there a path down onto... Yes! Yeah, if I actually just take the, the path back over here. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm kind of curious. This is way up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. So who exactly is here? And what do they want? Because they've also got some weird... Some weird poles. Okay, why do I think I'm walking into a trap right now? This doesn't seem... I mean, you know, that looks like a trap to me. Angie's camp. Yeah. Hello. What's an Angie? Is this to do with uh, a quest we haven't discovered yet? Is there going to be an Angie in here? And if there is, is she going to immediately attack me? Right, there's an Angie. And she's got a book. That sadly I've already read. That's a shame. Hello, Angie. And, no, oh, well, okay, you know what? I may as well feed on her while she's asleep. If I can just do it all subtle-like, lovely. Now I can talk to her. Name's Angie. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. I love how she says that just after I've just fed on her while she was sleeping and she had no flipping idea. And calm down, I'm not going to hurt you any more than I already have. I'm just kind of curious who you are and what you're doing up here. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Angie, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. Bit of an obscure place to be all by yourself. I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. Oh, well, that's a shame. Don't be like them. Don't feel sorry for me. Okay, so someone killed them. Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Okay, want me to kill them for you? Because I just generally do that when people ask. Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. Oh my goodness, a flipping NPC in Skyrim who took care of their own problems and didn't just wait for me to do it for them. I like you, Angie. And the tugs... Oh wait, I think I remember this. She... I can't remember what she does now, but yeah. The things I walk past a little target she wants me to shoot. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. I literally don't have a bow, so good luck with them. That I am. You know how to use one? Uh, no, not really, sorry. And let's just say her scene would be jealous. No, 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 sorry, I don't. Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, there's one on the rack to the left of the door. Sorry, not really my thing. I don't really do bows. But still, that's kind of cool. I'm glad we came out here and found uh, Angie's camp. That's pretty nice. Yeah, just uh, shooting all of the targets. Yeah, you stand there, take them out. Probably easier if you're not using a controller, which I flipping do. So never mind, Serana, on our way. Let's find our way back up to the path that leads up to the top and go and clear out the Bloodlet Throne. Because with a name like that, how could I possibly resist? And watch out for the many traps she's just laid on the path there. And back on the path. Lovely. Right. So now heading back up where we were last time. Now we know about Angie's camp. That's cool. And now we should be heading... Actually, it looks like we're heading more directly for uh, Ancient's Ascent. But I don't know which we'll hit first. I think Ancient's Ascent should be quite a bit further away. So we just bear slightly to the right. Yeah, we'll be heading for... Bloodlet throne. That'll be good. I just want, whatever that is, I just want to sit on that throne just for one moment and feel like a king. The king of the vampires. Right, no sign of trouble around here. Hang on, let's just check the maps right now. Yeah, if I just bear around to the right, I should be able to get to the Bloodlet throne and then cut straight over to Ancient Ascent. So that's nice. Also, I should probably actually uh, check that whole business with Dark Fall Cave or whatever. Where's that? That is over. Hang on, that's close by to... Where have I been? Oh, I've been around here before. Fine, actually. Uh, yeah, if I head over to the shrine, 
Or actually, I think actually this route here is pretty flat and easy. So actually, yeah, we can head over there pretty darn soon. That should be pretty simple indeed. Right, so instead, let's just focus on the important thing. Killing vampires. Then we'll get on to the secondary thing. Helping vampires. And speaking of vampires, here's some vampires. Let's kill them. So, what do we have around here? Found ourselves the tower. And any sign of trouble? Yep, bloodlet throne. Just need to find the front flipping door. Any sign of... No. Okay. No sign of trouble yet. No vampires standing guard outside. So we got ourselves... Yep, yeah, front door right here. Before we do that, always check if there might just be a nice easy way up top. If you just kind of loop around the back and you're willing to do an expert locked door, might be able to get my way into a much more sensible back entrance. Generally, just walking in the front door of a place called Bloodlet Throne, probably a bad idea. Probably a terrible idea, in fact. But, oh, might be just the thing. If I can get up here, at least. And any chance of a... No. Random chest, which is always welcome. I'll always help myself to just a random chest. But sadly, no actual trap door just to let me in a nice, secret, badass, awesome way. Fine, in that case, just drop down over here. Let's go in the front door and just start smashing some faces in. And from the stairs right here, potentially the game was anticipating I'd come from the other direction. But screw it, we'll just do it this way. Right. So, potentially, vampires, problems, etc. And it's pretty bloody dark as well. Now, I know this probably isn't good for stealth, but if I hadn't done that, I never would have bloody seen this thing. So, it's probably for the better. And I've still got Aura Wisp set. Fine. So, what do we have around here? Handful of people, but not too many. Don't step on that. Thank you. Yeah, handful of people, but none of them desperately close by to me. So, we're safe for the time being. And we've got... Ah! Any chance I could just cast you? I can just cast you down there. Nice! Okay, so Tomorrow Law's just going to go in and start causing trouble. Oh, we're just going in there anyway. Well, that's absolutely fine. Right, well, we've got ourselves some nice fledglings and a thrall. Quite a tough thrall, actually. Right, you go down as well. Lovely. And then we've got ourselves... Ooh, gargoyles in here and everything. Nice. Now, who are you exactly? Ooh, who's attacking me? Oh, that was your gargoyle. Got oh, I just flipping one-shotted it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I am mighty at this point. I'm just swaggering. Right, lovely. Well, that's good. That's very, very good indeed. I'm loving this. Oh, wait, hang on. That was Serana I was looking at. Sorry, I thought you were like a vampire I had to kill. You're one of the... Well, you're not one of the... You know what I mean. Now, my destination is... Yeah, the guy is in this direction somewhere. He's... Ah, bunch of them over there. Fine, so probably go through here. That's the right way to go. But there's someone down here first. Someone who looks like they might be on their own, in fact. Hello, we got... Ah! One vampire. Just quickly get the conjuration up, and... Yeah, you know what? I think... Oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. I am really, really enjoying the extra armor I've suddenly got. I like having armor. I should have had armor sooner. Armor's good. Now, interestingly, they've got a little back entrance here down into some icy caves. Does this all go? Ah. Okay. There's loads more here. This is... Oh, blimey. There are, in fact, potentially quite a few of them in great big vampire mines. Okay. Let's just quickly get rid of you. And I think one of them just said, I think you need to leave. So they were actually willing to, like, you know, warn me and let me walk out, which is pretty good. Oh, you're over there, are you, vampires? They're all good luck with flipping that. Now, how the bloody hell do I get up to all of you? Right, drop down. Let's start murdering some people. That might be... I've no idea who's on my side or not. You're definitely not. You're dead. Lovely. Someone's shooting me. Let's just keep closed wounds available. Just so I've got some healing to hand. And then we've got... Oh, I should have expected that. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Good luck, Mr. Gargoyle. And yep, there's a lot of vampires going on here, as well as vigorous healing and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Just keep on away. Ooh, have we got a... Ooh, a blooded vampire. Well, you're screwed. And then just quickly do some healing. Ooh, you're a Night Stalker. That's a little bit more on the dangerous side. Uh, oh, not anymore. You used to be super dangerous. Now you can barely hurt me. Oh, flipping dear. Four. Actually, we're, we're struggling to hurt each other, actually. Why... 
Why are you struggling to... Oh, it's probably you just you were absorbing health pretty fast. Okay, well that's fine. Everything's okay now. Hello, you live in a cage. I'm just gonna whack you with a... Okay, apparently we can't do that. Fine, I'll open the cage, then I'll whack you. Right, now we whack. Lovely job done. Uh, so, discovered the bedroom for one of them. Just check the books. There might be a useful one here. Nope, but there is some flipping money. And scroll of calm and fear. Shouldn't have taken that. That's completely useless. And soul gems. Nothing valuable on the books. We've got... Ah! Another form of cell. Now, who has been kept in here? Okay. Someone's been kept in here. But whoever they were, they got... Interestingly, the instant at Necrom, which is... Ooh, illusion up. Very, very nice indeed. New book. Some more scrolls. Scroll of Blizzard. I'll leave Fury. Whoever this person was, they were actually allowed weaponry and magic and all sorts. Interesting. I mean, who'd you keep prisoner, but then give access to weaponry and magic? Hmm. Very odd. Right, now looping round here... Pick off the guys who we... Oh, you got well flipping skewered. Also, Serana, why are you actually repeatedly using ice magic? You are a vampire. So you know vampires are partly resistant to ice. Like, this is a thing you know. Because you are one. So stop using ice. And also, I think we're actually going towards... Aha! This all leads in the right direction, won't it? Yes. Just a quick fast there. And down here too. Presumably. The room with... Ah! Okay. I think we've just found the king of the vampires, and he's going to want us to fight some doggies. Well, that's okay, because I can literally cast a flipping Dramora Lord up top to start attacking him during the fight. So that's going to be hilarious. Right, in we go. Right, let's just get some extra people on my side nice and quickly. And now, wait, who's on my side versus who's not? Ah, death hounds need to go down. Death hounds need to go down. And death hounds need to go down. Right, death hounds dead. And now, ah, now you've decided to get involved. Uh-oh, I've just been, I think I've just been locked in here. Does, does anyone know how to get me out? Because I'm now literally trapped in, um, guys, I'm, I'm trapped in the room. I'm trapped in the room with, with the guy. Can I, can I help out with this in some way? Um, okay, hang on, I've got an idea. Right, Solter. Did that actually hit him, or did that get stuck on the, the, the thing? Guys, I've made a mistake. There's no flipping lever in here. There's no way I can get out. It's just now him versus flipping Serana. And I think Serana might actually win this. Um. Oh, bloody hell. How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Well, actually, I think I can provide some support. Um. Wait, what happened to... Wait, what? What? Where'd you go? Oh, right. I accidentally cast you up there. Right, so Serana and one brought back undead. And yeah, all of you together should be able to handle this. And then after you're done, <laughs> can someone let me out? Because <laughs> I really want to sit on the bloodlet throne and not spend the rest of time being actually, you know, trapped down here forever. Because at this point, oh yeah, he's he's definitely losing. He's definitely losing, which is which is good. I'd like to have used my new weapons for this, to be honest. That would have been great. Is there any chance there's a... There's like a button in the... No, there's no button in the... In the thing. I hope, like, the door's open after he dies. Because uh, they've now taken the fight over there. Right, this is now just closed forever, isn't it? Right, this is this is just closed forever. Can I, unless I can... Can I scurry my way over it by any chance by climbing over the... Right, I think we're going to have to... Yeah, yeah, I know I'm trapped. Can anyone, like, find a... A sw oh, oh, thank you. That was very bloody generous of you. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I kind of wanted to like, you know, be involved in whatever. Also, he, he had an iron sword. I, I like the fact they did actually make the effort to make him look old, which makes sense. He was supposed to be super old. Right. Okay. Now, hang on. Before we go back down, before we do that, I need to quickly sit on the bloodlet throne. Because I kind of, you know, that was kind of the whole reason I came here. Hang on, just need to sit on the chair. Admittedly, there's not there's not really enough bloodletting. There's not enough bloodletting for my well, my taste, to be honest. But we'll just quickly... No, no, no. Get back on the chair. Back on the chair. Oh, yeah. Sitting on the bloodlet throne with Serana just standing by, waiting for instructions with a great big doom lever. 
Activate the lever. I assume that just puts all the things, like, up or down. Yeah, good. That just puts them up or down. Probably just leave those down, to be perfectly honest. It didn't tend well for me last time. And clearly the space for, you know, an entire court to be, uh, you know, entertained on the little benches and whatever. That's cool. Okay. I like that. That's a cool little area. Hopefully there's, like, you know, some potions or something. Ooh, there's some silver. Silver flipping ore. I think I actually left the, the magic pickaxe back home, so that's not going to fly. Ah, and this will lead back into the opening room. So that's the chest. Money. Ice spike. I think I know ice spike, right? No, apparently I didn't know ice spike. Well, I do now. And two. Okay, but not spectacular weapons. Fine. And as I suspected, yep, yeah, that just leads back into that first room. So that door would not have opened in the first place. Absolutely marvellous. So that's that whole area done. Very good. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. We have got ourselves... Oh. We have got ourselves a whole new flipping loadout here. We have got new everything. And now, now we are truly, truly mighty. And I'd say we are ready for the toughest that this game is ready to throw at us. So, let's make a little bit of actual plot progress over the next few parts, I'd say. Let's just wrap up Dawnguard, and after that we could probably, maybe, get back onto the actual uh, main plot itself, because there's a few bits and pieces I'd like to go and have a look at. I think I'm now very, very well equipped to take care of them as well. But first, we need to go and take out a dragon, and return to Falkreath, and check out everything that everyone wants us to do there. Because a few people want to say thank you to us, and probably give us stuff, and probably make us and all of that good stuff. So, Falkyrie first, then probably back on to Dawnguard. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.